But it's like literal Adderall and hamburger rage that are fueling these police. And we keep trying to blame it on white people and systemic racism and stuff. But when you really look at a lot of these videos, a lot of these cops really be Latino. All these cops be white Latinos really trying to prove they're like whatever, whatever the fuck they're trying to prove. Listen, I'm not going to get into like the cultural dynamics of fucking colorism in the Latino community. But a lot of these fucking cops be Latino. A lot of them be on Red Bulls. A lot of them be on fucking Adderall. A lot of them be eating hamburger, french fries, fucking 7-Eleven goodies like Fat Lana, you know, and their minds be going crazy. They be really fucking crazy. You are what the fuck you eat. If you eating a burger from McDonald's, like you stopping at McDonald's and the burger has meat from 50 different cows in the one burger, like, of course it's gonna affect of course that shit is gonna affect you and give you fucking mad cow disease. Like, yes, that's too much energy, pop. Meat from 50 cows, that's why I don't eat ground beef, bitch. I don't fuck with the ground beef. I don't fuck with ground meat at all. No, I don't want this ground turkey meat that has fucking 100 different turkeys in one pack. That's too much different DNA, bitch. No, uh-uh. No, for real, like, why the fuck are we like so many of these cops be on Adderall and shit? You can see it in their eyes, and then they go like drink a beer, like drink beers because they want to go to sleep. Like, uh, like for somebody who is supposed to protect and serve the people, a beer is too much alcohol. No, you have to be completely fucking sober. Y'all gotta change the fucking rules. Y'all gotta change the rules because these cops should not be out here eating burger and French fries and beer and taking Adderall and drinking Red Bull and coffee and roaming the streets, you know, in the hot sun with the fear of that, you know, like these cops be already fearful for their fucking lives. So you add ground beef, you add Red Bull and fucking amphetamine and whatever other shit these fucking cops be on to it, Vivance and fucking whatever, SSRIs and all that. No, that's why these fucking cops are crazy. I honestly feel like here in America, you know, we're not going to get this universal health care thing going or whatever. If we can, like, work on some social issues, if we're going to, like, if we're going to try to make it a better society and work on what we have now, let's incentivize teachers and police officers with 250K a year, daily drug testing, daily alcohol testing, because I'm sorry, we don't need no fucking, no teachers in first period with whiskey in their coffee because I grew up with a lot of like English teachers that had whiskey in their fucking coffee bitch red as fuck smelling like liquor early in the morning you know what I'm saying let's really intensify these people with 250k a year okay give them some extra tax cuts and all of that for fucking serving and nurturing the fucking nation but you also gotta be completely sober you gotta that means you cannot have a mental illness. You cannot have an uh, addiction to anything. You cannot smoke weed. You cannot drink alcohol. Not even a beer. Never. Not even on your Christmas vacation. No. You can't do none of this shit. Because this is getting ridiculous now. We have this like weird like system here in America where it's like, you know, your, your like freedom is tied to your ability to fucking smoke nicotine and drink Bud Light at the fucking football game and eat the beef and just all this like stupid weird culture that we have here in America is like dumb. It's really fucking dumb. And these, these cops need help, bitch. They need fucking help. I don't give a fuck about the police union or whatever. Like this shit is crooked. Get these cops some fucking help. Y'all saving all that money to bail niggas out.